All right, this is a template I drew up to uh, make hinges. Uh, these hinges can be made out of hardwood. I recommend a hardwood. Softwoods, you can have some breakage in here, but the hardwood seem to do real well. Uh, basically, you can download this template off the internet and at this link here, http colon readyrangers.tzo.com hinge.pdf. I'll place this file up for download and uh, you can just take this and uh, use this as a template. Uh, basically on this particular uh, hinge we're going to start off with two three-eighths thick boards they're three and a half inches wide by four and a half inches long and uh, what you'll do is you'll take these over to the table saw and this outside surface can can really be any you can be rough or whatever but this inside surface needs to be where you can glue it take these over to the table saw put your table saw fence over on this side bring your table saw blade up one eighth inch high so it'll cut a groove one eighth inch side high run your board through there with your uh, as a like a cross cut it's not cutting all the way through so you don't have to worry about it being pinched and then uh, flip the board around and on the same face you'll cut the other side of it out and it should end up with a quarter inch groove by one eighth inch deep then when you do that to the other board you'll have two boards with this little square put in there when they're lined up uh, this is where the pin for the hinge goes through this is a 3 8 inch uh, or a quarter inch dowel that will fit in there and this is the hard part of making hinges if you try and do this on a drill press line this up and you have a uh, long even a short one if this isn't perfect then these fingers will not line up and the, your hinge won't open up correctly but this right here makes it parallel they're the same uh, you can make these hinges as wide as you want them or as big as you want them you can take this template uh, Take some spray contact cement, spray it on the board, shoot this on, uh, print this out, put this on the board, and then you'll take this over to the scroll saw and you'll cut out this big black heavy line with just one cut. Make sure you follow the line, don't get off of the sides because this is your finished wood. And uh, you can, of course, make those nice turns with the scroll saw, no problem. Then you'll have two pieces of wood, and then you'll take this these bo boards over to your sander and sand these edges these finger edges right here so that they look like this and that way whenever you put the pin back in there then they are free to turn you may have to do a little sanding on this edge right here maybe an eighth of an inch on these little parts right here where they rub and uh, give yourself some clearance so when the hinge turns at a 90 degree it will open up i saw this uh, design on the internet i looked and looked for the guy to give him uh, tell him you know accolades that he this was his idea and uh, but I could not seem to find that video or where I found that at anyway I work with church boy scouts called the Royal Rangers and uh, this is a project the boys can do uh, we're going to be making some of these hinges for our frontiersman group you can customize these hinges with cutting them around you can cut shapes in them you could do some scroll saw work and put some letters in them uh, I've seen them where they sand this down after they're glued together and they make a you know not as thick of a hinge um, there's all kinds of things that you can do that with that you can leave the surface rough or, or all kinds of stuff you can inlay some stuff but anyway these are cool hinges they're strong and uh, uh, they'll they'll make your woodworking project even really cooler anyway there you go and uh, hope that you enjoy this 